travelers. Welcome to the desert. It is June 8th, about two months since I returned from Japan. And you know, life has just been an emotional roller coaster. So there's that. I did do a post recording a while back, but <laughs> they accidentally deleted the footage, so this is the second attempt. And I'm not quite sure where I left off last time. I believe it was either my last night in Japan or the night before that, but essentially my last day in Japan, I had to check out of the hotel I was in around 10 a.m. and my flight wasn't until about 5 p.m. So I decided to just pack everything up and head to the airport and my initial intention was just to, you know, maybe drop off or check in my bags or um, drop them off at the baggage storage places that they have there. Um, and then maybe go back out for one more time and, you know, do whatever it is that I wanted to do um, and then come back to the airport later. But it's definitely not how it turned out. Um, I got to the airport and I don't know, I wasn't like super stressed or anything, but I just wanted to play it safe and not go back out and risk, you know, one, exhausting myself, but two, you know, being late or something happening and then you know me being late for my flight or whatever so I just didn't risk it I stayed at the airport um I wasn't able to check in my bags until four hours prior to my flight so waited around until like noon checked in my bags and then the nice thing about the Haneda airport is they've got a really awesome like food court with like you basically wouldn't need to leave the airport if you ever needed to stay overnight or anything like that they've got so many different food options but um so I found a place to eat um I got sukiyaki and it was really good and then I waited a bit and there was a matcha tea place there as well so i got that and a little bit of dessert as well and then just waited until my flight um, i did go ahead and go through the security checkpoint after i kind of you know situated or settled from from the food so got checked in and then just waited for my flight my flight was, I believe, nine and a half hours long to get to LA and I couldn't sleep. I just, I couldn't. Um, I had hurt too much and I think all the feels and exhaustion from everything that had happened the prior months were just kind of catching up to me. So um, I couldn't sleep. And then landed in Los Angeles and I had a, it was either a four or six hour layover there before I could fly to Phoenix. And yeah, that was, that was rough. <laughs> um, LAX is not a very comfortable airport, but you know, I did, I did the thing. Um, I got coffee and like a little, food and just again waited it out um, and then I had my flight and luckily
Apparently the flight was only, I don't know, about like an hour long or so. And then I got home, I think, about 5.30 or 6 in the evening. And all I wanted to do was just, you know, unpack everything. I hate leaving, like, my luggage and all of that until, like, later. So I went ahead and got that situated. I ate dinner and then I just went to sleep. And I think I slept for like six hours. And then I woke up the next day. And thankfully I had the whole week off of work as well, just to decompress. So um, I got up, I think I ate breakfast and then I went right back to sleep because um, the previous day of travel was literally, I think I was up for 30 hours straight, no sleep in between, and so my body trying to catch up. And then the unfortunate part is that after that day, I started feeling sick, so my whole week off of work that I kind of just wanted to decompress and what have you kind of went to wasted me, <laughs> me being sick, but, you know, it's all right. So, yeah, that's it, and now it's been two months since then, and I didn't realize that that trip would make such an impact in my life, but it certainly has. Um, I've started to make a lot of considerations in my life as far as what I want to do next. Now, do I want to stay at my current job? Do I want to stay in the state? Um, is this what's truly making my soul happy? And I think I'm discovering that the answer is no, but it's also tricky because I do my job really well and I make relatively good money and I've got debt and stuff like that that I have to pay off as we all do. So I don't know. It's a, it's a constant balance of trying to figure out, you know, me just trying to live the best life that I can given all the experiences that I've had in life, but also not really being able to do that fully because of all the societal restrictions, the norms that we have here that don't really allow us to have that level of freedom. And then there's that whole conversation too of like, are we actually living free lives, especially here in the <laughs> land of freedom? It's not not free in any way, sh shape, or form. So, yeah, I know, I know that's a little bit deep, but that's what it is. But yeah, so I'm trying to navigate that. Um, I'm trying to navigate my self-expression my identity and who I am and what I'm attracted to in many forms and yeah it's it's rough y'all know life is life is rough and sometimes we just gotta go through some hard stuff to I don't know get to whatever next stage that we need to get to in life and there's just a lot of uncertainties right now for me and that's okay like I don't want to make it sound like I'm you know I'm not okay or whatever no. yeah I don't know what I'm trying to say currently yeah But yeah, this is the desert. <laughs> it's very deserty. There's rocks everywhere. Um, I'm 
I can get out. I'm currently sitting in my vehicle because it is 87 degrees outside and it's freaking hot. I've got water here with me, so nothing to worry about. But um, yeah, let me get out of my car and I can show you all the scene. All right, so. looking at and there's my little there's that so further over there is a lake that I will sometimes go paddle boarding in and then just more mountains and stuff and mountains and stuff So yeah, I think that's about it. Um, as far as this channel and like what I'm going to do next, uh, complete transparency. It's again been two months and I haven't done a whole lot just given all the life changes that I'm trying to navigate through. So I don't really know what my next adventure is going to be. Um, I am going to be going to Colorado in a month's time and I've got a few other travel plans that I'm trying to make work. So I'm sure I'll do my videos then and you know try to keep some consistency. But in the meantime, I'm just, I'm not sure. You know, maybe sometimes we'll have little talks like this. I'm a very like emotionally aware person. Um, so I'd like to share that with whoever might need it and might be able to relate in whatever life stages y'all are going through. But I would just encourage that try to live your life in the most genuine way that you possibly can even if it means getting hurt or you know whatever obviously not like physically hurt or like hurting yourself or anything like that that's a whole deeper conversation but i think y'all can understand what i'm trying to say just enjoy life to the best of your ability. All right, I'm gonna head off and 